to Tanaya, and we are getting more information on the shooting that happened at the 500 block of Woodrow Avenue last night. This was the scene as officers investigated what we now know is a homicide situation. Two victims were pronounced dead at the scene. And Lansing police calling it a domestic situation. No arrests have been made, but police do say they are familiar with someone they believe to be a suspect. News 10's Riley Connell was out in that neighborhood today talking to people about what happened there. And she's in the newsroom now with her report. Riley? Yeah, hi, David and Amaya. Well, police were also in that neighborhood earlier today, continuing their investigation into the shooting. People who live in the area are still trying to process what's happened on their block. I spoke with a few neighbors who had a connection to the man and woman who were killed. They tell me they're feeling a lot of grief and loss right now. Other neighbors were just finding out what had happened. I was pretty surprised to know because I've been here for several years and then all around the neighborhood, pretty quiet and safe for me. For South Lansing neighbor Jinyi Chen, the shock is still setting in. A shooting just down the street that left a 50-year-old man and 53-year-old woman dead. Police say they arrived on the scene at the 500 block of Woodrow Avenue around 9.30 Thursday night and found the two victims. Police say there is no threat to the public, offering some peace of mind for Chen. As long as it's not like a random attack or something. I think. Other neighbors didn't want to go on camera, but say they've always felt safe on their street and are checking in on each other to make sure everyone is okay. While no arrests have been made in the case, the suspect is known by police. Chen says the shooting is the only incident of its kind to happen on her block. But even if it weren't the last, she says there's little to worry about in a community as tight knit yeah, as hers. That's pretty helpful and also, you know, it keeps you happy and feel you adapt to here, you have roots here, you know people. It's better than like take each other as strangers, definitely. I talked to several other neighbors who were not comfortable going on camera, but echoed some of those statements. It's a quiet neighborhood and what took place Thursday night is a shock to everyone. Live in the newsroom, Riley Connell, News 10. Back to you, David.